Hi everyone, welcome to Key to Blogging and in this video I will show you how can add MCQs in your WordPress website. So here we are going to use two different plugins. One is Stackable Gutenberg Blocks and another one is Cadence Block. So if you are using themes like Bloxy then you have probably using the Stackable Gutenberg Blocks and if you are using the Cadence theme then you, you may be using the Cadence Block plugin. So both are page builders which allow us to create MCQ sections. But the MCQ section using the stackable Gutenberg blocks looks good and as you can see I have designed this MCQ section using the stackable Gutenberg blocks. So let me just go to the plugins and click on install plugins and let me just click on active plugins here and as you can see this is the stackable Gutenberg blocks by Gambit Technologies. So you need to install this free plugin in your WordPress website and after that you will be able to create MCQ section like this and when I click on view answer it will show the answer of the MCQ. So as you can see you can select the answer like this and you can also jump to the page too. So this basically create pagination so you can show a list of MCQs without having adding in a single page and all of the MCQ will be added to a single blog post but it will create a pagination like this so it will be easy to navigate different MCQ section in your blog post. So let's check how can add the MCQ section in WordPress. So for this just install the stackable Gutenberg blocks and let's go to the blog post here. Now let me just click on add new blog post here. Now you can add your post title here so let me just add mcq like this and i need to click on add block and let's add a paragraph block here and let me just copy the mcq from here and i will simply paste it here like this now it is taking as a list so we need to change it like paragraph or i can add it like heading so let me just add the heading like h2 tag and i will add this is the first heading this is the question number one and this is the option so you can also select this option and make it as a list so let me just change it to something like list or you can also display as a paragraph now we need to add the answer so for this you can search for expand or slash show more or you can also browse all and search for this option so just find this option expand slash show more block so just add that block now it will add a block like this so here you can see so more or so less so let's click on this whole block and let's click on the lock button here so this is the new feature recently introduced in wordpress 6.0 so update your wordpress if you have not done yet so let's uncheck all and let's click on apply first and now i will select this upper part and i will remove that text and I will only add the show more text and let's click on show more here and we'll add that answer here so let's copy the answer from our notepad file and I will replace all the text and add my answer here now I will click on the show more text here and I will I can change the text like view answer So in the same way I can add multiple MCQ questions. So let's add the second MCQ here. So let's add a heading here and let me just copy the second MCQ question from here and I will add the MCQ like this. So let's change it to 2. So as we have said H2 so you can also change it back to H3 like that. So now adds the options here. So let me just copy the option from here and I will paste the option like this. By the way, if you don't know how to organize it like that, so as you can see, if you just hit enter, then it will create a large space like this. So if you don't want to keep this space, then you can simply add the back button and then hold the shift button and hit enter so that it will 
reduce the spacing between the sections and I add it in a single paragraph block. Now you can just copy this above block and paste it like this. So what I can do is just click on view answer and I will select the whole expand or show more block and then I will copy the block and I will paste it here. Now I can just change the view answer and change the view answer text like this. So let me just copy the answer from here and I will add the answer in the long text here and I will change the text. So for this I will just select the show more button here and I can change it to like view answer like this. So as you can see we have added two different mcq blocks so let me just copy the whole section from here and let me just duplicate it like this so in this way you can add multiple mcq sections and change it easily now if you want to add pagination then you can just click on plus here and you will find this option page break so just add the page break block like this and then you can add more sections so let me just add paragraph here and i will paste the mcq like this so let me just change the name like number four and let's add more mcq block and here i will change the name to like five now let me just publish this page first now let's view the blog post from here and as you can see our mcq block is added and when i click on view answer it will show the answer like this and i can just shift to page 2 and in this way you can add multiple mcqs to your wordpress website and keep it organized using the pagination so just add the page break block just between the mcqs so now let's check how can create a mcq block using the cadence block plugin so as you can see I am in the cadence block dashboard and there is a one active plugins that is cadence block. So let's go to the blog post and let's create a new post. Now let me just add a accordion block. So before that let me just add the question and answer. So let me just copy the fast mcq section from here and I will paste the mcq like this and i can just change the list block to something like heading and i can just add number one like this now we need to add a accordion block to show like this show and hide button so what i can do is just add slash and type accordion a c c o d i o n accordion and then you will see four different type of accordion so let me just choose the first one here and let me just delete the first section from here and let's change the title like view answer now i can add my answer within this block so let's add the answer from here like this and as you can see our view answer button is now added and you can also customize this block so let me just click on so more settings here by clicking on the view answer button and you can also add different icons so let me just add a icon like this and you can also change the show icon button or you can change the position of the icon now you can also remove this plus button so just click on accordion block and let's click on plain title trigger icon and you can also remove the trigger icon like this or you can also change different type of trigger icon from here so let's remove that trigger icon and you can also change the text color and background color using the settings right here now let's preview this section mcq section in cadence block so as you can see we have added this mcq and added the questions and when i click on the view answer button it will show the answer so by default it's showing open so to fix this we need to click on this accordion block and you can select this option start with all panel collapse so in this way when user click on the view answer button only then it will show the answer otherwise it will keep the answer hide 
so as you can see it will show like this and when i click on the view answer button it will show the answer like this so in this way you can display mcq in your wordpress website so either you can use this stackable gutenberg blocks or you can use the cadence block in your website and if you have any doubt regarding mcq then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe key to blogging for more upcoming videos like this and i will see you in the next video thank you